Hello there, this is DBT, and these are the rooms. And alright, let's play some more Asphalt 8, and today we're finally doing the MP test protest of the Acura NSX GT3 Evo, which is this car that you see right now on the screen. Oh, what a beauty it is! Now, this is a surprisingly topical video to make because you know that right now there's a car hunt going for this car. And of course, I had to go premium in order to get the car quickly and spend about 7 million fusion coins and a ton of parts in order to upgrade it because I love you guys so much and I was willing to do that. I'm kidding! I didn't do that. I actually already own this car because, you know, I got it when it was actually on a good sale. Um, yeah, so the car hunt right now, you know how this works, uh, you pay the price, which is apparently like $7 or something like that, at least that's the, uh, on my local currency, about $7, and you would get in the premium lane the Acura NSX GT3 Evo, but if you already have it, like I do, then you just get some wild cards and whatnot. So, is it a good idea to pay $7 for this, for this car? I honestly don't think so, but we're at least gonna test it in multiplayer and see how it does. Now, before we jump into that, I want to quickly mention that, man, what a beautiful car this is. It is an absolute beauty of a car. However, it suffers from one of the things that bothers me the most, and that is lack of colors. There's no colors. You can only drive this car in black, but life doesn't have to be like that. In fact, if I pull out this video that I did uh, precisely on the colors of cars, this is uh, the YouTube video playing, you can see that I compared it to the version of Asphalt 9 and in Asphalt 9 you actually can select different colors and look at how cool this car looks in different colors. It's just unbelievable that we're missing out on that because for some reason in Asphalt 8 they decided like nah, just black, that's all you get while in Asphalt 9 you do have the opportunity to select different colors while it actually removes the livery you can still select some colors and it definitely looks pretty cool or alternatively select just colors of the um on the selector itself like the official colors but anyway yeah so i don't like that this doesn't have color variations but it's fine so we're gonna test this in multiplayer in the world series classic season so you know how this goes, I'm gonna record every single race that I do with this, I'm not gonna cherry pick, if I win, I win, if I lose, I lose. We're gonna figure out how this goes, but I need to activate my boosters and wait on cue, so I'll save you watching all of that. Now, if you don't know, this car was for a while pretty much an uncontested or the uncontested king of class B. Well, I say uncontested, but the reality is that it does have some con contest to it, but it was a really, really, really strong car in class B. Uh, leaving aside something broken like the Audi e-tron special edition when it used to be in class B that it was absolutely broken It was so OP. Leaving that aside, this car was just absolutely insane And it remains to be a good car But the real question and that is the same question that I proposed when I asked you guys which car you wanted to see Is to see if this car remains to be a king over here now I never I've never been shy to say that I don't like this bracket in this bracket is where I find an incredible amount of really aggressive players willing to knock down everybody. I don't know, very dirty players overall. So I normally don't have a lot of fun in this bracket, so I don't play it a lot. But, you know, I'm willing to, to, to put myself through it just to test this car. Like I said, it used to be a king. And I don't believe it has been nerfed or anything. The reality is that they have been adding a lot of other cars in the same bracket. And a bunch of them are meant to contest this car's placement or this car king status now i'm not gonna go into all of the cars that right now are contesting to this car but i'll tell you of a couple that i can remember from the top of my head and we got a second place considering that i kind of fumbled the start not too bad of a result um all right beat by a 718k man uh ch challenge evil the 48 challenge evil two accurate and sexist tech rules but no that's not at the full rank so never mind that that doesn't really count okay let's get to the next race now, before we go any further into my explanations, if you're enjoying this video, please make sure to hit the like button. I'm asking you right now so that, you know, you have time to process if you want to do it. And if you really are enjoying it, why don't you tell me in the comments, quote, DBT, I like this car, comma, but I hate, comma, the fact that it has no color options, period. Whoever writes that, uh, exactly like I said it, you're gonna get, the very first one is gonna get a pain comment and a heart. And from there onwards, whoever else writes it, you're gonna get a heart on the comment. So there we go. There's your little challenge for you on the comment section. Um, but yeah, so I knocked someone down and I was too busy thinking about what to ask you to write that I did not, it didn't quite register, but hey, I'm sorry for whoever I knocked down. <laughs> 
Um, the opposition to this car, I believe... Oh, well, first of all, the reason why this car was so strong or is so strong is because of the strong acceleration. That is its main thing, because the reality is that the natural duration on this car isn't necessarily amazing. Um, in fact, I would consider it a little weak uh, compared to other cars. But overall, eh, usable. But again, the acceleration is what really makes this car strong. But... Uh, I, I believe that one of the first cards that really de dethroned this one as a king of class B in this bracket was the Porsche 918, uh, no, excuse me, the Porsche 718 uh, Cayman Club Sport. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Four Acura NSX GT3 ball. <laughs> Remember in, in that other video where I said that if the fact that there's no color options mean that if you get a lobby with the same car, everybody looks the same, this is exactly what happened. But there we go, got a first place. Lovely. But yeah, that Porsche was the first real opposition, I believe, that this car had. And in fact, if I remember correctly, that Porsche was kind of broken when it released. And I mean, that Porsche in itself, it's worth of a video, but I'll just quickly mention that it was very strong when it came out. In fact, I think it later got nerfed. Um, but yeah, it was, I believe, the car that was absolutely destroying the Acura NSX, but then once it got uh, tweaked uh, back into normal numbers of acceleration or something, then it, it's a more competitive situation rather than a broken one. So right at this moment, um, another car that I think can give this one a run for its money is the Lamborghini Aventador Coupe, recently rebalanced precisely into this bracket. And I've been driving that car a bunch and realized that it's... I'm getting some W's. You know what that means? It means that it's too good. If DBT wins races with a car, it means that it's good. Really good. Because <laughs> DBT normally doesn't win races. So that is a car that, from my subjective experience, can put a good fight against this car. And I've heard of also the Zeus... Zeus... Sigma... Something, something... Uh, that electric ginormous boat. Um, it's also really, really strong, mostly because of the acceleration, but I believe it doesn't turn. So I don't know, there's definitely cars that can put a fight against this one, but as you can see, it remains to be really damn strong. It really would be an amazing car for me if it had color options and if the engine sound wasn't as quiet as it is, because this is obnoxiously quiet. Have you been able to hear it throughout this video? I'm sure you haven't. And I'm playing at a higher volume than normal. That tells you how quiet this engine is. So it's kind of annoying. Uh, we beat the club sport, that's precisely what we're talking about. The BM4 M4 GT, BMW M4 GTS, another really strong in class B. The Ihusaria and a Ferrari FF, but that thing doesn't really count. All right, look at that. Now I would love to show you different colors on the car, but it doesn't have them. Again, just look at this beauty. I'm still looking at it. In white with the livery and all of that. It looks so good. And yet, we only have to live with the black version in this game, man. What a shame. What a shame. In fact, I did find the, um, the, the, what you call it, the diecast 164 version of this car from, I believe it's Hot Wheels or, no, 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 from, I think it was Mini GT. Oh, it looks so beautiful. It legit looks really damn beautiful. Stop pushing me, you little mother lover. There we go. So you see how once you do triple tap nitro, this thing really starts drinking it up. That is where you gotta be careful with this car. Just manage your nitro because otherwise you're gonna run out of it really quick. But so long as you do it, or uh, so long as you do an okay job at it, you can absolutely do some damage with this thing. It's, it really is a great car. But again, that engine, where is the engine sound? I hate that it's so, so, so quiet. There's definitely some engine sounds in this game that are quiet, but I believe this along with the Fordzilla have really, really, really quiet ones. I mean, it doesn't get as, as dumb as the case of the Porsche 918 Spider, which almost doesn't have an engine sound, but that's a completely different thing, because that one is just a straight up bug, I believe. But this one is too quiet. Too quiet for my liking. Really good car, though. Look at that, another first place, beating again the Porsche 918. I mean, 718, Jesus Christ. Another Acura 488 Challenge Evo, which is at the highest rank of this bracket, so it should be a competitor in a Hurricane, but the Hurricane, first of all, wasn't triple boosted, and on top of that, it's not an amazing car, so, yeah. Now, here's a question, a very legit question for you guys. What do you like more watching in these videos where I do multiplayer? Do you like this format when I'm just testing one single car and doing a bunch of races with it? Or do you prefer the old way that I used to do it, where I would use probably two, even up to three cars in one single video? 
Well, I understand that it seems more appealing. Well, I I'm gonna give you my opinion and why I decided to do it this way. Um, well, I understand that it's more appealing in a way to see more cars in one video. I like doing doing it this way because on doing several races with the same car, it allows me to get used to how the car drives and perhaps do the best that I possibly can with my limited skills uh, on driving it. Whereas if I'm constantly changing the car, I am switching on how the car feels. Oh, this car drifts better. Oh, this car is about that. Oh, this car is about that. So I think it's a less focused experience. So I'm really curious to know which one do you prefer? Do you do you like seeing one focused test of one car or do you like the randomness of ah, whatever DVT decides to drive in that particular video? I don't know, I'm really curious to hear what you guys think about it because I really like this format but you know I started thinking hey what if what if you guys actually like it in a different way? I'm not sure. So there's your question for the day, tell me in the comments which one do you prefer? Um, Alright so the BMW beat me but I think he started in a better position in the in the grid at the start, so maybe that's why he meant he was able to keep in front of me. And in fact, the fact that it's one rank below the quote-unquote king rank of this bracket, this car is really strong for the same reason, because it has really, really good acceleration. Then we got a LaFerrari, GTA Spano, another GT3 Evo, the W12 but not triple boosted, Challenge Evo, and this guy disconnected. All right, that's fine. And remember, you can always see the race counter. I try to always show the race counter. Um, precisely so you see that I'm not skipping races now my boosters are running out but because I already queued up they will still be good for one last race even if by now it shows as empty if I were to leave the room and rejoin then obviously by the time I queued up the, the boosters were already out so that wouldn't count but for now we're safe oh boy oh boy we got a pretty full lobby it's 11 players total so uh oh uh oh, is this Citadel Crash? Is it Citadel Crash? Oh boy, this is gonna get rough. I don't know which version of the track it is, but I'm afraid it's Citadel, Citadel Crash. Is it? Is it? It is not. Okay, good. No, wait. It is not. Cool, cool, cool. I totally knew it. Totally knew it. I wasn't panicking. You were panicking. Oh, wow. Is that a speed trick or something? Do people make that jump in order to get some airspeed? I have no idea. Don't push me, buddy. Don't push me. All right, at least I didn't wreck. But I did spend a lot of my nitro on trying to recover some speed right there. No problem. Oh, whoa, what happened with them? You know what? Don't ask questions. Just live in the moment. Yeah. First place. Let's see if we can keep it. So far, so good. I hear something right behind me. And again, I don't like using triple tap, so I have to switch to perfect nitro from time to time to try to save some of the nitro. I am a little bit too conservative with my nitro usage, but what can I say? I guess I'm a hoarder or something. I don't know. Now, the drift on this car is also really, really strong. That's something else that I haven't talked about. The handling is good. The drifting is really good. I mean, not extremely sharp where it's uncontrollable. It's that level of good where it's comfortable. Not like, oh my god, I'm crashing on the inside of the turns because it's so sharp. So it's it's good. It's good. I like it. And we got another first place in, in spite of the fact that it was a really full lobby. We beat a Ferrari 40 Challenge Evo, a GT3 Evo, a Ferrari, BMW, a Huayra. Okay, that's interesting. A 570S, a Volkswagen W12, GTA Spano, a Ferrari, and a Monza, but that one disconnected. Alright, I feel like the Monza could have given me quite a, quite a bit of a fight. I hear that that's a really good... Ah! My boosters! My boosters! I hear that the Monza is a really good car. Um, but I wouldn't know, because I don't have it, and I don't care for it. I don't like the Ferraris. <laughs> Excuse me. And on top of that, it does. It, it, it has everything that I don't like. It, or rather, it doesn't have the things that I would like it to have. Meaning a windshield, maybe a roof. Just saying. All right, let me activate some more boosters and do some more races to finish this video. Now, this time I'm not going to ask you which... Oh, th this is the new... Um, is that the Aguila Negra um, hoodie? I'm not sure. I'm not going to ask you which car you want to see next because the very next video where I do an MP test, it's going to be of the car that I promised I would and that is the... But the always... Oh, no, 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 I messed it up. I messed it up. Jesus Christ. We're fine. We're fine. It's a, it's an alternate route. I totally know what I'm doing. Um, of the Faraday. Excuse me. Ah, oh, you mother... Enjoyer <laughs> of the ferret day, Jesus. I've been pronouncing it as ferret I like more how it sounds as ferret as opposed to ferret day. 
And I even looked it up, and apparently it's a British... It was a British person, so yeah, the pronunciation should be fair a day, but I don't like it. Anyway, um, it's gonna be for that car, because I... Remember, I recently proed it, basically ultimate upgraded it. Well, I did that precisely to add it to... to well, first of all, to give you an opportunity to, to make me suffer, but also to try it out in Gauntlet, which I have yet to do, and for uh, MP test, but I've not had the chance to do it in classic season, which is where it matters most. So I'm gonna do that. But after that, we will come back to deciding which cars we're gonna be trying it out with. All right, so in this one, things went wrong because I got knocked down, it's fine, whatever. We Let's pretend this race didn't happen. Let's cherry pick it and not record it, totally. Apparently I do better when there's more races in the race. <laughs> the previous one had like five people and I lost. This one has four people, so I'll probably lose again. Although I am almost at the front. No, I'm at the back, never mind. No, I'm at the front, what? I thought I was at the back. It don't matter, if I can win this race, I would be happy, very, very happy. And don't, don't close the video just yet, even if you think that it's finishing, because I have... Um. So as I was saying, I have two dices to dices die. Oh man, I hate that word. Uh, yeah, two dices to spin. So let's see what we get from those two dices. Probably nothing too useful. And actually, I I did use one of my ultimate dice to land on the on this on the wheel spin thingy, and I spun it, and I was one one single. Oh hello, did I just pass him? I did, but I got no nitro. That's no good. Oh, I think he ringed out. Oh, beautiful. I'm still going to win this. Um, I was one slot away from getting the Porsche. Of course, that is just how the game is. Tricky into making you believe that you can get it. But hey, whatever. There we go. First place. So, overall, what is my thoughts? What are my thoughts on the Acura NSX GT3 Evo? Is it still a king? It still is. Like I said, there's still some good competitions ag against it. But it is very strong nonetheless. Like I said, maybe the part where it hurts a little bit is on the nitro duration, but overall, the car still performs really, really good. It looks really good, but it could look better. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. So, like I said, we have a couple of dices, dices, dices to, to spin, so might as well do that while we're here recording, because why not? Uh, hey, yeah, whatever, whatever. There we go. Yeah, two of them. Let's use it. Please give me a two. I would love one of these. Give me a two. Give me a two. A six. Two, four, six. Oh, it should have been a five. Come on. A two or a five would have been fantastic, but no. Um, all right. So two, four, six. So I cannot even get to this, even if I got another six. So, eh, what abs, man? Uh, <laughs> okay, sure. Six and six. Why not? And a bunch of parts. Again, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not spending any money or anything, so it's all right. But yeah, there you have it. So that was my overall view protest of the Acura NSX GT3. If you enjoyed it, again, hit the like button. Um, in the meantime, why don't you check this video that I did uh, playing Asphalt 7 from the beginning. I'm going to do a full series of that, so stay tuned and watch it. Or maybe check this other video where I race Class A versus Class S in Gauntlet. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody, and stay safe. Bye-bye.